Welcome we're at down. it again, ladies and gentlemen. We are Welcome. bombing downwind at the moment. Yeah, we are hammering along in the middle of the Chesapeake Bay. If you missed last week's episode, we gave you a full tour of this beautiful creature. She's a 55 foot or 57 foot gunboat. We need to. We'll put that on screen. We're yeah. still unsure at the moment. Yeah. It's long it. and it's, long. it's massive. And we feel so lucky to be here. We had this boat um, for a full week to do whatever we want with, with our family on board and some crew. Just point of order. Yeah. Can you imagine, and I've only really just thought about this now, but can you imagine telling Riley and Elena cruising around on the Beneteau, someone is gonna just let you sail on a 57 gun boat because they need your help. Yeah, so this boat's actually for sale and we want to show you guys really? um, what she can do. And as you know, we're on a voyage, we're on a journey around the world to show you guys some of the most unique, beautiful vessels that there are. Where This Bit is the third boat, it. third boat out of many. So hit the subscribe button to not miss next week's amazing boat. We're actually heading over to the other side of the Atlantic. I'm getting um, pushed around by this boom. But yes, join us, guys. Join us. Thanks for being here. super shallow we can see more beach than we have here at any other time i've run aground there nils has run aground there and i've heard around town that it's pretty notorious this this particular corner so chris has done pretty well there so we're we don't have all the sails perfect so we're working through a couple things so this one is our topping lift yep. so until we get the main up this is holding the boom dropping on the house. Yep. So we'll take the main up on this one, yep. and then we can ease this one off. And uh, Nils will be up top, making sure the battens go through the lazy jacks. Two-speed winch, you got the pedals right there. So normally they've got 3DI north sails, um, but the main blew up a while ago, which is why we're using this spare. So we've got one reef in the main, and we're about to put up a really big A2, Nils. A big pink A2. I cannot wait to see this pink sail flying. Like, now I'm kind of demo, we didn't get a pink one for the tri room, but our hull's gonna be mustard on the tri, so I don't think pink and mustard would go very well together. Oh, this is sick. So what happened is the wind has picked up so we can no longer fly my pretty pink sail. Damn Just turn the engines off and we are sailing. This is just upwind on a beam, broad reach, dead downwind. While Rally and I were focused, having been thrown into the deep end of learning the ropes of this catamaran, we couldn't help but notice how inquisitive our boys have recently become about the boats we've been sailing recently. Every day they seem to have more questions and become more attuned to what it takes to harness the wind and travel over our oceans. It was also really convenient for us that the previous owners, Conrad and Megan, who we introduced you to in the last episode, really took the time to build this gunboat to suit the needs of them and their young family. We were going to feel totally at home this week. I'm a massive fan of having those sliding windows open up so you can access forward set. And it means that this area here you can make wider because the access at the back now is half or a quarter as important. And you're not worried about people back there getting hit by a sheet or telling them to move. Everything's yeah. up here, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah. I will say, because of the size of the boat and the flat surface area, you can leave stuff like this around, um, and it's not messy. 
like because it, it's like having a big house you can have a bucket in the corner and a mop and it doesn't make that entire area look cluttered and busy um, whereas obviously the smaller the space and this is a massive tick in the box against tiny homes you leave one dirty fork in the sink and the whole place just looks messy. Because of the size, it just feels more neat and more tidy. good at racing whenever I take the helm we slow down yeah. and if the Chesapeake looked like the Bahamas this would be the, the biggest yachting hub in the entire world like everyone would be here We just met some fellow sailors. Who have we got here? I'm Dave. Okay, who have we got over here? Joan. All right. And who's, and what's Sophie. the dog? Sophie. Sophie the sailing dog. Come here, please. No. Hey, Sophie. Oh. Hey, Sophie. Oh, do you like me? Hey. Well, well your show. We almost, <laughs> we were actually buying a, a catamaran. Oh, really? Thanks to you guys helping out with ideas. Okay. Yeah, we were going to buy an Antares. 44. Yep. And it was just a little too big for us. Yep. And how's this one going for you? Much better. Great. I love the feeling of sailing. Amazing. Please don't fall in there because I think there's blue dye in that water. No one falling in the pool, okay? I'm off these shells. And I, yeah, I've just taken them for a walk because they had a lot of energy to burn. But today was so beautiful. She rides really smooth in the water. Make sure he's not turning the key on. And this little marine is super cute. There's a little swimming pool here. <laughs> the crew are just cooking dinner on board. They're actually gonna stay on land so that we can have a romantic family night on the boat, which is super nice of them. Mm, so I wouldn't jump, that'll hurt your feet. Uh -oh. You know, hold my hand. If there's something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, I can't think of a better place to start than therapy. I'm so excited to share with you today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. Riley and I have been seeing experienced therapists on BetterHelp for years now. I can't imagine doing life without my therapist. She recently helped me get through that case of burnout, which I shared with you guys online. So yes, BetterHelp is a platform and it's professional therapy done online. It's super convenient, it's more affordable than in-office therapy without losing the professionalism or the quality and it's more convenient. They, they have so much scheduling flexibility. It really works with our lifestyle and probably a lot of you guys out there too. Also, finding a therapist is so easy and fun. It's kind of like dating. First you fill out a few questions and then you match with a credential therapist within a few days. And if you don't really fit with that therapist, which can be a common thing in therapy, you can easily switch to another therapist for free at any stage without stressing about insurance or who's in your network or anything like that. So if now is your time to take charge of your health, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. You can click the link in the description or you can head to betterhelp.com forward slash sailing. Not only by clicking that link are you supporting our channel, but it's also going to get you 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. So please do take advantage. Thank you BetterHelp so much for the opportunity and thanks to all of you guys out there as well. Now, do you have any advice for what, what I'm looking for when I'm up there? Yeah, so a couple of things. We want to see whether the halyard can go as far into the mast as it wants to go. Like, yes. it, you know, is it getting jammed up in the throat? And if we feel like it can get all the way up and it's not engaging, then we know it's the lock. If it's getting wedged by the thick cover, then we just know it's a cover issue. Yeah. Yeah. All right, up, up, and away. Our first leg of the journey was over, but we still had a few days of sailing before we'd reach Annapolis. I think Riley, in particular, felt such a longing to board our trimaran and get her moving, like we got Vandal moving today. 
It's hard to believe that we only have a few weeks to go now until we launch Le Vagabond the Third. Lenny just cut his finger. He's you okay. okay Lenny? His hair. Is it better now? No. No. <laughs> Can we have a look at it now? Should we see? Mm, but then I'll cry again. Mm. No, you can look at it. No, it's okay. We don't have to look at it. We don't have to look at it. We don't have to look at it. We don't have to put it on it. I know. Mum is trying to find one. Does that sound good? Yeah, okay. Mama might make her own bandage. <laughs> but how? Mama's a genius. <laughs> Done. Sorry, please. You want a story? Yeah. It's probably going to be 25, 27 today. So that's that's really good news for sailing. We're going to have to stow, we've done a bit of work to stow everything down below and just make everything ship shape, make some lunch before we get out there, make sure that the kids know what's going to happen. We have an early start this morning. Morning. <laughs> We're gonna make it today. A little bit of wind. Yeah. And Niels and Riley are probably talking about boats again. <laughs> Am I right? So we're yeah, talking about how to love our and support our wives. Cars. <laughs> so I really think the best baby food is uh, Gerber, you know. So we have a 50 nautical mile sail ahead of us today. We're going to an anchorage called Solomon's where we actually were when Lenny was one, right before we crossed the North Atlantic with Greta. So it's a, it's a really beautiful, quaint little place. There's lots of oysters there to eat if you're into that. And our ETA is 3 p.m. So we're hoping to catch the sunset and um, go to this restaurant on the water there. That'd be a real treat. And same deal as yesterday, just toasting the main now. My kids' fingerprints are just all over the windows. They've actually been climbing on the roof and sliding down on the windows. I don't know if that's allowed. <laughs> These are pretty strong, hey? Pretty strong. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. If they could take a wave, Lenny and Darwin should be all right. Now we've got the uh, A2 locked in place on the halyard lock and we're going to take tension with the tack line and then we're going to be flying a massive pink sail, which is going to be sick. Is this a diamond shroud? Yep. There's an advert in Australia. His dad doesn't know anything and he keeps making shit up for his kid. The sail is big and it casts a beautiful hue over the boat, that's for sure. Apparent wind angle is 108, so the apparent wind is from here, but the true wind is from back here.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited about that? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy got the drone. Yeah. The wind's picked up to, it would be gusting to 23. Uh, it said on the predict wind that it would be gusting to maybe 27. So we haven't quite got that yet. There is some stuff on the horizon here. Put away the pink A2 and we've got up the solid. And um, we, we're, honestly, we're just trucking along at the moment. It feels like, we actually feel like we can handle like 35 knots with the current. With the current setup, maybe even more. What do you What do you think we could handle with what with with how much sail we got? Thirty. Thirty. Yeah. I said thirty-five. Yeah. Actually, we can handle that. Yeah. So we're just chilling, reading books, listening to music, eating pretzels, watching pelicans dive for fish. <laughs> Fun fact, the Chesapeake Bay is the largest estuary in the United States and third largest in the world. It's also home to 2,500 breeding pairs of brown pelicans. Watching these guys hunt is really something. They fly as high as 60 feet before diving headfirst into the water where they capture fish inside their mouths to eat moments later on the surface. There's a bit of a squall coming in and I'm just going to say again how amazing this living space is. Even if you're not outside sailing or pulling lines, it really feels like you are. Like you just, it's all one. Yeah, you really feel a part of it. You can see everything that's going on outside. Again, yeah, it's a very um, social boat and we all feel one. Got him, little dude. Should we jump down now? No. Come that's on. the autopilot. That was that was <laughs> that's the one we didn't want to do. For something with 365 degree views, a domestic sized fridge, and the ability to house a 50 person society gala with a hot moon, it sails unbelievably well. Vandal's not going to sail at 1.4 times the speed of the wind but there's only one production multi-hull out there that does. On a beam, we were doing close to wind speed, and when the wind went up to 20 plus knots, it's windy! <laughs> she just barely even noticed and kept pushing ahead. Even as you're coming into port, it's still not the time to relax. We have to radio the marina, find someone to catch our lines, make Vandal secure for the night, turn off all of the electrics, and clean up the inevitable mess that would have accumulated after the sail. Once you've lived on the sea for even a few weeks, you basically learn to sleep with one eye open. Luckily, we were well and truly prepared for our new neighbors, uh, how do I say this? Maybe less than graceful arrival. Oh my God, what the f Oh my God. He's okay, he's okay, I got him, yep. We need that back tied on because it's just going to come around. That's going to get us. Come back, come back, come back. Come back, come back, come back. Come back, come back. Come back. Come back. We figured our neighbour got unlucky with the entry and we helped him get settled as much as we could. It wouldn't be until the next day that something else happened and we'd realise that something maybe wasn't quite right with the whole situation. Pretty wild. But yeah, for now, we needed to feast. Ah, ah, we're not allowed down here.
all of them up and be like, hey, I've just crashed in, into your boat. Yeah. To be fair, I don't think his controls are doing what he what he thinks they're gonna do. I don't think he meant to do what happened there. Yeah. But he needs some practice. All right. I think it would be good for these guys to go and have a lesson with Vagabond Adventures. It is pretty daunting being out there on the water the first few times and many, many people are making far worse mistakes than this. I think it would be a great idea for them to do something like that. Um, we have some huge news, guys, which will require a little bit of explaining. We are selling the Ultramer. Now, that had always been the plan, uh, but because Vagabond Adventures has been going like really well or, or pretty well, and there's been a lot of interest and a lot of excitement about that, um, we've had to sell the vessel earlier than what our original business plan was. So what that means is that anyone out there that wants to, we're going global as we previously. is going global, yeah. So anywhere in the world that there might be a boat, you can book a tour with Vagabond Adventures. Jack and Etta, and then other people who we have personally vetted to make sure that you're getting an incredible experience. Super qualified. Whether you want to get certified to sail, you want to learn to sail performance cats, or you just want to have a fun charter with your mates, you want to um, do a flotilla, rent out a bunch of boats. Yeah. Jack and Edda and VA. That's you, the... Are you gals and girls, guys? <laughs> 2018? Yeah, 17. We sailed into Charleston City Marina and Will and Lynn were there of Charleston Sailing School and you guys will remember them because we made probably three or four videos all from that marina. Yeah, they really looked after Where us. Went. They winterized our boat. Yeah. Since then, Will and Lynn have purchased the multi-hull company, which has pretty much gone gangbusters and they sold more secondhand boats last year than anyone else in the world. There's scarcely anyone else in the world that I would trust as much as I do those two to sell our boat. So that's who we've got her up on the market with. So yeah, let's let's uh, hear what Will has to say about it all. Thank you so much, Riley and Elena. It's an honor to be working with you guys again, to have the boat back here in Charleston. She was here years ago when Lenny was born. We got to spend a lot of time with you guys while you were here, really get the boat dialed in. And again, we've got our teams of techs and detailers aboard getting her ready for the next owners. For anybody that's interested, please check out the link below or reach out to us at the multi All Company. Thanks again, and we look forward to working with you. Thank you, Will. <laughs> Thanks so much, Will. It's so awkward being on camera. Thanks, mate for selling the boat and thanks to the multi hull company for taking care of that. That's uh, greatly appreciated. Congrats to VA for going global and um, that's it, yeah? I think that's it from us for now. Okay. And sit, and sit down, good boy. Yeah, she's one of the me. Woo! Have you heard about all of the dolphin attacks on sailboats right Kill, recently? Killer whale, you mean? No, dolphins. Dolphins have been bunting and rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> on the last day, we've just seen dolphins. I was hoping to see dolphins here. Yes, and there's so many, they just keep coming. <laughs> what do you think, Tiff? It's amazing. We just saw a part of dolphins. Starters, that was the most incredible week. A massive thank you to Nils, the captain Chris, Tiffany and Kevin. Like, we had the best time. Yeah, thank you all for making it happen. This has revolutionized how I think about boats. I've really got a lot of ideas. If I was to ever do a catamaran again, there's so much of this that I would incorporate into that. The windows are huge, which most boat builders and designers would agree is like a little bit of a no-no, but it is such a massive, awesome area. I'll take that because of this. That's now a submarine. Like that's waterproof, CE rated. That's just incredible. And you could, and this is just worst case scenario, like you could sail the boat with this area gone. Um, and because of you can walk out here because you can walk out there you can actually make this area wider again because the walkways which used to be really important on the ultramer 
are no longer as important and it's just a massive massive awesome area to hang out have guests have people on board and we just had so much fun in here playing music and sailing from right here i think we can all agree that you just cannot compete with this living space oh man i'd be so so happy to call this place home obviously so she is for sale guys just remember you should buy it you should it's cheap at half the price it. yeah but getting one of these new is going to be like at least four million um, and this one's going for whatever we said before, I think it's 195, but yeah. may change between then and the making of this movie. Definitely do check out the link in the description. Uh, might even be an email address. Do me a favor and give me a comment below if you like Elena and I touring on new vessels because I absolutely love it. Like Saskia I get, loves it too. I get a lot of I get a lot out of it. Just let me know if you like these type of videos and if you'd like to see us do more. We'd love to hear some feedback. Okay guys, we'll see you next week.